I don't know, guys. I can't beat this game. I just spent like 20 minutes trying to play this stupid game. It's the funnest I got. I I don't know how to get more points. It's impossible. There's no... There's a monkey here now. What the heck? I don't know, you guys. I can't do it. I just can't. Um, I can't find any thing that tells me exactly what happened. Ah, I forgot about this. Anything that happens when you get 20,000 points, I'm sure it's an amazing fan. Actually, I did find something. It says, well, is it kind of spoilery to, to explain what I don't even know, but just say the hint thing gave me. Um, what happens is you, yeah, come on. You, you will unlock an old outfit. I don't know really what that means. So, um, yeah. So take that as you will, I guess, but that's what happens, and I'll probably go try it again, because, you know, what else am I going to do with my life but try over and over again? Let's go this way. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Are you guys ready to take on the jungle can Look, it goes right here to the Chameleon Temple. Oh, no. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's do it! Funny meeting you here. How'd you get in here? Puska, he told me everything. Everything that wasn't true. He knows this land and its history. He wants to help me find my father. We believe this temple contains clues. Puska tried to kill me. No. He was forced to fight by St. Clair. He wants nothing to do with any of this. Sounds good, but I don't believe it. What do I care if you believe it? I'm going in that temple. No, I'll go in. Animal spirits, remember? You stay here. You know, I may not survive. The next time you see me, I might be a mangled corpse. And the one thing you'll think about, the one thing you'll regret, is that you didn't kiss me before I went in. So? <gasps> So happy. Look at his fingers. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No spirit. Piece of cake. Thought you were gonna stay outside. I thought you might need my moral support. Well, we got lucky. No spirit to fight. But there's an artifact in here I need. We need. <laughs> oh, it's it's my dad. That's unfortunate. She can't see his face from that angle, though. <laughs> what happened to him? I don't know, Nikki. Go back to camp. Would you do that for me? I'm going to find the artifact in here, and then I'll join you. Okay? Okay. I'll see you soon. the artifact it should be here huh that was when I started to get uneasy no spirit fight no artifact and Nikki's father dead I figured I'd head back to camp and see what Bittenbinder thought and maybe try to comfort Nicole the mystery deepens so yeah oddly enough no artifact um, I mean, it's interesting how, um, Harry makes a reference that she might become, like, a corpse <laughs> when, um, you know, we see her father, like, not just a few seconds after that. Yeah, let's take a close look at him, if we can. It looks like he's been here a little while. It's weird how he's not really, you know, um, disappear or not disappearing, decomposing, that's what I'm looking for. There are spiderwebs around him, so that really goes to show that he's been here a little while. I love chameleons. Chameleons are something we really didn't deal with much in this game, so it's interesting, you know, whether or not, like, this was always planned to be like this. Or, like, you know, if there was actually something planned for this temple. But yeah, it's kind of a neat little twist, in my opinion. I like when games stray from the norm. Sorry. Bit, or not Bitbinder. Um, 
McAllister, I just kind of walked over your corpse there. Kind of heroically dived over it, I guess. But I kind of feel like it's a horrible idea <laughs> to send Nicole by herself back to base camp in the jungle with a lot of death things, deathly things, right after she's seen her father die. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of insensitive, but you know. Let's just take a look at this area here. It's really cool. It is very temple like, though. I, I like it. I love it! Snacks over here, or snakes. Gee. Uh, I guess it would be the best idea for us to head back to the beginning of the game, which actually won't only take a few seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're only one screen back still. That's okay. Let's uh, take a look at what we can see. But yeah, it's interesting how her father's dead. And I mean, he has been missing for six months. And who knows how long it took him to find that. So he could have been dead for like a. Oh, there's a baby monkey there. There's a mega monkey! A mega monkey! I just run away from all the things. It's not always time here. It's not always time chasing cars. Ooh, do I want to go back to the lost cavern now? Oh man, maybe it would just be best to get that over with. To get that freaking mayhem over with. The thing is, I believe I've 100%ed the lost caves minus like. Oh, there's a few things that I need to get. There's a shaman and a few idols. The crash site, the very first level of the game. Another mega monkey. Nothing with the mega monkeys. Even they don't stand a chance of dynamite. They go freaking flying. And the monkey's now just on me forever because <laughs> there's no way for it to get cut off. Or get cut off. Sorry. I was looking at this tree. It's like, ooh, that tree's cut up. <laughs> um, I believe there's a way to climb up somewhere. However, it might not be farther. It might not be until farther, I should say. Let's uh, go over here. So I want to see something here now. There is no door here. There's a door here though, it just leads into the rock cliff. Okay, so this isn't the same spot exactly where we saw the plane cockpit. Interesting. Very interesting. Unless there's a door over here somewhere. There's not. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> and it'd be cool if there was. It'd be also cool if we could somehow. Really? Interesting. All the renegade. Is there any like at the very start? I don't think there is, but now I'm curious. I don't remember that guy being there. No! Ah! Oh, I was like, grab the ledge! Oh yeah, he's not gonna grab the ledge. It'd be funny if there was a little... Oh, okay. I almost started running right into that pit. I was like, wait a minute! Be patient. My number one not thing Chris does. <laughs> what? This is it, you guys. This is where we first started the game. I think it was right here. Look, there's like even a little outline of where my body was. That's funny. Oh, uh, now I got a burp monkey on my back. Get off my back, you monster! Woo! <laughs> a little bit scary, not even gonna lie, yo no bro. Yo no bro! Ah, an idol. Ooh. Ah. Thankfully these planes destroyed these trees. We left to climb up here. And um Oops. For some reason I thought it was one of the dynamite still. That was not. No! That's yeah, interesting to see all these um, scorpions here. I used to think, how did these guys all die? But now I realize it's very obviously there was a Gizmo 85 that just squished them. Hey, look, it's a shaman! No, shaman, I wish to aid you in waking up or something. <laughs> Alright. 32, okay. 17 idols, that's pretty good. The more of these we get, the more we're gonna, more idols we're gonna need. I am a little bit scared. We're gonna run to a point where. I make it to a shaman and I don't have enough idols to the native jungle. So now I've got to back backtrack. I guess technically go forward. Uh, I don't want to watch that cutscene again. Silly game. It's weird that they would make you watch that cutscene again. In case you don't remember the cutscene where they where they run up the hill and then jump behind you and start throwing the logs. Whoa, there was no one even throwing the logs. What is this? I think there's actually a way. You're sneaky, sneaky. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Might be a sneaky, sneaky way to jump up one of these ledges. Ah, oh, you know, I might, might be here. Aha! I have bested you, game! <laughs> Even though that really only saves like a few seconds. I have to deal with all these melons. Woo! Thankfully, they're not smart enough to close the gate anymore. They're like, ah, we don't know how this crazy contraption works. Meh! I was gonna go to the caves, wasn't I? Well, oh, dang it. Oh, well. How unfortunate. I guess we'll have to do that another time. Meanwhile, I'm sure everyone's like, yay! Oh, no, we do want to go to the great tree. Hmm. 
Although it might have been quick. Well, maybe not. Climbing the great tree has always been kind of a giant pain to me. And now we have to do it without falling once. See the thing about the water gushing in first time? <coughs> uh, the whole point of it was to save you from falling like that. Because now that you fall, or now that now that the water gush geysers have stopped flowing since we've drained the lake here, uh, they're not coming back. Meaning that if we fall once, we mess up once, that's it. We gotta start the entire climb up the Great Tree all over again, which, you know, isn't really that hard, but it's really easy when you're trying to, like, you know, be quick about it, I guess. Especially if you're trying to blow up more. Especially when you take stupid risks like that that don't pay off in the end. Um, this was the first time I can show off that. You could kill these. Pontius Noxius. Did, did he die? Oh, yeah, he did die. This takes a while from the display. I did get the shaman here, right? Yes, I did. It looks really cool in here. I love I love the inside of the great tree. Even though I'm sure that's not good for it. Someone carved out the inside of it. I'm sure it's gonna die now. <laughs> no! Even if you're a mystical shaman of magic, pretty dang sure not a very good idea to cut out the innards of a tree. The great tree of life. The great tree of my wife. Wasn't there a monkey up here before? Where'd he go? Did he just disappear from the world? Didn't feel like living anymore. Just phased out of our existence. He's transcended time and space. Alright, these jumps are kind of annoying to make. Especially without the safety of water. And why am I taking risks, dude? Let's see, I'm just jumping immediately instead of like timing up my jump size. How'd that monkey wake up? What the heck? I just saw him with a quick eye moving about and such. I've never seen that before, I don't think. Maybe they just naturally kind of stir in their sleep sometimes. I've never noticed. No! No, bad melons, bad! Alright, more tree jump, branch jumping. <laughs> Once again, I don't really understand how there could possibly be branches growing out of a wall, but alright, game. <laughs> I love if I could just see a monkey corpse down there with a butterfly flying around it. And the butterflies move. But still, oh, there he's flying over again. Sorry, sometimes I get very scared. The statues of AR. See, normally if this was like a longer game, I would probably cut out. Oh, there's the snake. There's the snake where we met. Quick claw. I love that snake. He's the best. That dead snake. Interesting how no nothing's come to eat it yet. It'd be funny if he came back to me and he was like half eaten or some junk. <laughs> Maybe a bit morbid, but hilarious. Oh, absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. Yeah, like I was saying, I would cut out things like this, but. Because this game is so short, I just like to treasure up even the like when you have to go backwards and backtrack and all that. You know what I'm saying? Sure hope so. Oops. Gotta slide down! No! Where's that gonna put me? Oh, right here. Okay, I'm okay with this. That JPEG. See, it is kind of a bit um, sketchy. I guess would be the word I'm looking for here. Where where the game's gonna put you when you fall off ledges? Because I think what it's sometimes a game detects where's a solid spot to throw you, where your last solid spot. Where's oh. Nicole? I sent her back here. Honestly, Harry, I don't know what to tell you. She came through here and then said some words in what sounded like native tongue. And suddenly there was a passageway to those ruins, clear as day, huh? as if it had been there all along. I asked her how she knew it was there, and she told me a shaman had told her how to find it, and that he was going to help save her father. Her father is dead. How do you know? Nicole and I found his remains. Poor Kevin. And poor Nicole. Mm, this is my fault. I let Kevin down. He chose his fate. You chose yours. And I'm choosing mine. I'm going to find Nicole. What the heck? Good binder, what the heck, man? Why do you have a freaking porcupine over here? So I don't think there was like, any area, <coughs> any indication at all that this area is even here. It'd be cool if there was like a, I don't know, some kind of door or something. And yeah, as you can see, Bitbinder really did make a camp because this tent and this fire pit weren't here before. Look, he even has a clothesline for his clothes that get dirty. Yay! <laughs> oh, Pontus Noxius is gone over there? Oh no, they just didn't render it for whatever reason. All right. Um. I guess this is a good spot to stop. Oh, it looks like there's like even some over here. It looks like that like goes into something, but no, just a stone wall. 
It's weird that Harry distrusts Puska. I mean, yes, he's with St. Clair, but I mean, I kind of buy his story that, like, you know, St. Clair is forcing him. I mean, he does have a powerful army of, you know, TNT throwing assholes. What if Puska just teamed up with him just, you know, ah. to make him stop being crazy and throwing TNT and junk? Like, just because he's a magician doesn't make him evil. Jeez, Harry. I don't know. I don't really think Puska's done anything that really warrants Harry to hate him, though. I mean, he fought against... Or, Puska was fighting with Harry... But like I said, maybe he was doing it for the peace of St. Clair and his men and destroying everything. But I mean, that's just my opinion. Let's take a look at the journal. <clears throat> Ooh, only a few entries left. Entry 22, January 25th, 1935. Did I... I read this or did I not? Hmm, I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, I did read this. So, I guess I'm not reading that. Entry 23! <laughs> January 25th, 1935. 4.25pm. Found Nicole, but not Puska. Yeah, she met him. Says he's not bad. Says St. Clair is forcing him to help him against his will. That he's a peaceful shaman. Maybe, like, the one who sells me stuff every once in a while. I don't know. Maybe she's right. But it doesn't really matter anymore. She and I got into the temple, but there wasn't a spirit to fight this time. Someone else had already beaten us there. Her father, McAllister. We found him dead. It was like the life had been sucked out of him. i never seen anything like it. Nicole broke down. I just couldn't handle it. I told her to go back to camp to Bittenbinder. She said okay and left. I don't know how she's going to get over this, overseeing, overseeing this. But what's stranger than all that, there was no artifacts. Someone had already been here, fought the spirit, and taken the artifact. Maybe it was McAllister, or maybe he lost the fight. Maybe this is what happens when you lose, and I just got lucky up till now. I don't know, heading back to camp now. <clears throat> so yeah, that's really interesting. Um, holy crap, only four inches left. It really makes you think, like, what maybe happens is perhaps uh, McAllister did win the spirit fights. He got the thing, <laughs> the the token. What, what does he call it again? I forget what he's calling it. Now I gotta check. <laughs> it's gonna bug me if I don't check. Uh, maybe he did get the... No artifact, there we go. Maybe there was the artifact. McAllister won, he grabbed the artifact, and as he was leaving the temple, something attacked him. Huh? Huh? How's that for a theory? I think it's pretty good. Do you guys like my theory? If you do, leave a like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris! I like how I said I'm just kidding, and then I actually proceeded to say the exact same thing I was just saying, just said I was kidding about. Next episode, where did the say I'm going? I'll be heading to the mysterious temple. Oh no, there's another temple. That sounds horrible. 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 See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can't get around stupid, that looks.